a house divided cannot stand. We've just had the value for money figures from the regulator. It's not a pretty picture. Costs are soaring because of inflation and safety works, while financial strength is falling. How do we respond? We hike up rents and hope to make services a bit more efficient. But it's not the whole picture, is it? Far from it. Soon we'll know more. Very soon, the first set of national satisfaction figures will be assembled by the regulator. And that worries me. I've seen a lot of the draft figures, and in particular on complaints, fewer than a third of residents are at all happy with how their complaints are being handled. Now that rang a bell with me. Go back a decade or so, Grant Shapps abolished the previous regulatory regime, and one of the reasons for that was that it ignored complaints. And I think if you find yourself in a position where you're high cost with low satisfaction, you'll face trouble from the regulator. I think you'll get a letter from Gove. In fact, I'm certain you'll get a letter from Gove and he will send in what he plainly regards as his inspectors to tease out what's really happening and, if necessary, really condemn that particular landlord. Well, he's sending all these letters one way, we'll send letters back complaining about funding. A lot of truth in Gove's grievances about poor standards, awful lot of truth in our complaints about poor funding. But there's no common ground, very little shading in the Venn diagram, I'm seeing a lot of posturing and not an awful lot of progress. Now, when you look at these low satisfaction figures, I bet you, I absolutely bet you that other providers, new players, will go to government and say, hang on, we can do better than the incumbents. And if a government is trying to save money, as any government will be, they are bound to listen to those individuals, yeah? Gove quite correctly says that democracy is under threat because young people are not getting access to housing. I think our current social housing system is under threat because it's plainly not hitting the right notes for our residents or shared owners. How do we sort this out? Well, first and foremost, we need to get the residents on site. I'm seeing loads and loads of Byzantine student union type structures rolling off the printing press and been imposed right, left and centre. They've never worked in the past, they don't work now and they won't work in the future. We need to have proper conversations with humans not impose structures to keep them at arm's length and maintain the hierarchy. Until we get the staff pulling in the right direction, and that means stopping the civil wars between the development team, bringing in stock we don't particularly want, repair staff who are struggling, housing managers who are struggling, and then the accountants are coming every month to complain about everything under the sun, we're not going to make progress. We need to be one team across the staff group, not the silly nonsense that's gone on in the past. And as I say, we've absolutely got to get the tenants and the shared owners more on side. It's never going to be perfect, but it needs to be more adult, it needs to be more grown up. As I said at the top of this, a house divided cannot stand. Thanks for your attention and I hope to see you all very soon.